Hi everyone, welcome to Diksha Karnataka. If you are thinking to apply for the KCET examination 2024 or already if you have applied for that, you must know about three things mandatorily. So first one related to the admission process, how the admission will be done, right? You should have the awareness about that and you should know about the courses. Because generally what happens, some students will apply for the engineering and after that they will come to know that, oh, based on my marks, based on my merit, I may not be able to get into the engineering, then they will get disappointed. But if you know, if you are well aware that there is not only engineering courses, there are allied health sciences courses are there, there are pharma science courses are there. If you have the clear cut knowledge about that, it will be very useful for you all. And you must know about the different colleges. Now coming to the KCET admission process. What is the first stage in the KCET admission process? So that is the registration, right? You have to, you know, download the uh, application form. You have to fill there. So related to all the information, we have made one video. You can look into that in our Niksha Karnataka YouTube channel. Similarly, we have made one more video related to the written test. Even after, you know, after registration, we have to take up the examination. It is related to physics, chemistry, maths and biology. Four subjects are there. So you have to take up the examination. And what is the way, you know, how to take up the examination related to the detailed video is there. You can refer into that. And after that, once after writing the examination, so we are going to get the results. So we have to wait till the results. After the results, so there will be a verification of the documents. So during the time of registration, there, you know, we are going to submit different documents related to the study certificate, related to the, you know, bold marks card or related to the caste certificate, different types of uh, documents we are going to submit in that, right? So authenticity of those documents will be verified during the time of verification of the documents. Then after that, option entry will be there. Option entry is nothing but you are going to give your priority of courses, right? So based on your marks, based on your merit, you can choose the different co colleges. So based on that, seat allotment takes place so you should be little aware of what are the different colleges are there what are the different courses are available in that college and what is the cutoff marks right these knowledge you should have to before doing the option entry so now last one seat allotment oh if you know if you uh, put your option entry and uh, you get that seat based on your merit then finally what you are doing so you are paying the fees and you know you are going to that call is the last part of it right so this is the complete process i hope you can remember all these stages clearly so now what are the different courses are available so that is also important right so here basically we can see the four categories right so one is related to the engineering and technology related under that there are different courses are there like a computer science you know information science ec you know, electrical, right, mechanical or civil. There are many courses are available. All those course details are given in your information bulletin, page number 7 and 8. So that you can look into that, right. And apart from that, we have got one more course that is the architecture. Counseling is based on the KCET that you are supposed to remember about. And apart from that, we have got the medical courses, you know about the MBBS. Again, that examination is conducted by the NTA and seat allotment happens, you know, according to the counselling happens in the KCET cell. So now, similarly for the dental, for Ayurveda, homeopathy, naturopathy and Yunani, right? So we call it as the, you know, Ayush courses. For all the Ayush courses, this time, examination is conducted by the NTA, whereas seat allotment, counselling is done by the KCET. So after that, we have got the paramedical courses like, you know, BSc Nursing, B Pharma, Pharma D, right? And apart from that, we have got the uh, Allied Health Sciences, uh, Basic Health Sciences as well as Allied Health Sciences. So in that, uh, we have got the BSc uh, radio, Radiology, BSc Microbiology. There are different courses are available. And apart from that, we have got the BSc Farm Sciences in that Agriculture, sericulture, horticulture, different courses are available. And very importantly, we have got the BPT course, uh, Bachelor of Physiotherapy and BPO. So 
many students used to ask what is the meaning of the BPO. It's a Bachelor of Prosthetic and Orthodontics. Orthotics, sorry, Orthotics. So here, what we are going to do, what we are going to study, so it is related to, some, you know, if somebody is born without a limb, born without, you know, uh, leg, in that case, or somebody got, you know, a, a accident and they are not having the limb or leg. So artificial limb will be done, right? So re related to that, you know, this course is there. So it's one of the very interesting course. Now it is gaining the importance. You can look into that as well. So this is about the brief idea about what are the different courses are available. And let us move further. So when we go to the KCT admission process, some of the important points we are supposed to remember. So in that, for admission to the first year, which are the subjects we are supposed to take up in the KCT examination? This is very, very important. Now coming to the engineering and technology course, right? So if you wanted to get the ranking in the engineering, you must write physics, chemistry and mathematics. This is very, very important. So based on your physics, chemistry, mathematics score, what you are going to get in the CT examination as well as what you are scoring in your uh, 12th board examination, the ranking will be allotted, right? So this is what you are supposed to remember about. After that, if you are interested in the farm science courses, what are farm science courses? You can remember about the BSc, agriculture, sericulture, horticulture, etc. We consider it as the farm science courses. So for the farm science courses, you have to write physics, chemistry, maths and biology, right? So if you write this, so your ranking is based on the physics, chemistry and biology marks. Okay, so that you are supposed to remember about. And when it comes to the Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry and Naturopathy Yoga and BSc Nursing, for this, mandatorily you have to write the biology. So, physics, chemistry and biology. Okay, so these are the subjects you are supposed to write. So again, similarly, you know, uh, based on your CET marks as well as based on your board marks in the physics, chemistry and biology, equally they, it will be considered and according to that, rank will be allotted. So when it comes to the B Pharma, okay, and second year B Pharma, what is the meaning of the second year B Pharma? Lateral entry to the B Pharma and Pharma D, doctoral in the Pharma, pharmacy, okay, it's a six year course, whereas B Pharma, four years, okay, whereas Pharma D, it's a six year course, okay, in depth, we are studying about the pharmacology, you know, pharmacy, okay, that you are supposed to remember about. For that, which subjects we are supposed to write in the examination, Either you can take a PCM or you can take a PCB. If you are a PCMB student, my suggestion to you all children, you can write PCMB altogether. So if you write the PCMB altogether, what is the advantage? If you, you know, based on whichever uh, combination you have got the highest marks. Say for example, somebody is very good in mathematics, right? Then automatically what happens? Your ranking will increase in physics, chemistry and mathematics stream. If somebody is very good in biology, your ranking will be considered based on physics, chemistry and biology marks. Okay. So, better write all the four subjects. So, based on whichever subject you get the best marks. So, this that based on that combination, either PCM or PCB will be considered for the allotment of the seats. Okay. I hope you can remember this. So, now for the other courses candidates, how to take the entrance exam, right? So, here they have given one more set of information. This is also crucial information we should know about. See, when we speak about the medical MBBS or, you know, dental or Ayush. Ayush means what? Ayurved, you know, uh, yoga and naturopathy, Yunani, Sindha, homeopathy, right? So, that Ayush. For all these courses, what is must? You have to, every year, you have to take up the NEET examination. That is very important. So, after that, what is very important again, even though this examination is conducted by the NATA, sorry, this is conducted by the NTA, right? This examination is conducted by the NTA, but for the counselling purpose, you have to register compulsorily under the CET 2024. Okay, this is very, very important, right? Based on that only, your counselling will happen. So, that you are supposed to remember about. And when it comes to the architecture, so you have to appear for the NATA examination. No doubt in that. You have to take. But what is again important, you have to register under the CET. Why you have to register under the CET? 
for the counseling purpose if you don't you know register under the cet counseling won't happen so that you are supposed to remember about and after that uh, for admission like vpt bsc allied health science okay allied health science means we you know uh, bsc uh, radiology bsc neuroscience bsc pharmacology there are any plenty of courses are available under the bsc allied health science so for all these courses you no need to you know appear for the ct examination okay so based on your pu marks whatever you are going to get in a pu board examination 12th pu board examination you are going to get the seat but what is important again you have to register under the cet you have to pay the fees and you have to register under that then only it will come for the counseling if you write the examination and if you sit quiet thinking that okay anyhow kct examination is not required so tomorrow when it comes to the counseling you won't get the call only right so but please remember if anybody interested in bp you know physiotherapy or bsc allied health science or bpo courses please remember what, which one will be considered for your you know uh, admission for you board marks but please please remember to register under the cet that is very important okay so now let us move further so here children i have got some information for you all so what is the information top 10 colleges because we know that majority of you are looking for the information related to the engineering colleges right so because plenty of engineering colleges are there so here i am you know showing you all top 10 engineering colleges in karnataka on what basis i am saying these are the top 10 engineering colleges based on the nirf ranking what is nirf ranking national institute ranking framework based on that they have categorized there are you know uh, uh, colleges right that website if you go you will get the complete idea that in karnataka which are the top engineering colleges as well as in the india right so now which are the courses offered see now some college some colleges may be having the uh, highest nirf ranking but their available courses may be less some may not be having highest nirf you know ranking but available courses will be more like data science right now it's in a boom right so there are many uh, important new courses might have added to that college okay so based on that and based on the placements what is the percentage of the placements right so how many students are getting into the top industries like google microsoft or sap technologies right there are many gained you know uh, mncs are there so based on the uh, their package their pl placement right and most importantly infrastructure so when the best infrastructure is there then the student is going to get the best exposure right so we are considered infrastructure and very very importantly student feedback why we have considered the student feedback so whichever the students have went into the different you know uh, colleges we have consulted them we have asked them how you are feeling there you know how the teaching is happening how the placements are happening so based on their feedback considering all these parameters based on our research on that we have listed out top 10 colleges i hope this list will help you to decide the course as well as which college you wanted to get into and accordingly i hope children you will study as well so which are the top 10 colleges are there visheshwaraya technological university belga that is a highly rated you know we consider as a top college in karnataka and we have got ramayya institute of technology in bangalore and we have got rv college of engineering in bangalore we have got bms college of engineering in bangalore we have got the nitte institute of technology that's in udupi karkala near the karkala you will find that and ps university in bangalore and sindhaganga institute of technology in tumkur and jain university in bangalore and new horizon college of engineering in bangalore and jss science and technology university in mysore so these are the top 10 equally good colleges are there so based on that if you want any detailed video you can put it in our comment box so that we'll take your in you know what you require accordingly we can prepare few more videos related to the top 10 engineering colleges or engineering colleges are available in karnataka okay so i hope children this video will give you the insight about how the admission process takes place which are the courses are available and 
what are the top 10 engineering colleges right any further information required you can leave a comment in the comment section accordingly we will prepare the new videos for you all always we are there to help you thank you so much subscribe the channel and spread this information with your friends as well so that they will also get the benefit of it thank you everyone all the very best for your CET examination bye everyone myself Karthik I'll be logging out now bye bye